everybody, it's Very Vibrant Makeup Channel, and this has been long um, overdue. I've been trying to do a cool craft project since everyone really liked my, um, on my Instagram, they really liked my idea of making my ColourPop tubes, um, like the, the boxes, into a, um, lipstick holder, a lip gloss holder. So I decided I'm going to do the same thing with my eyeshadow palette cases. I keep them all because I love the packaging, but sadly I'm going to have to cut the packaging. So I'm going to show you how to turn these into palette holders. So let's get started, I guess. If you see me getting up and down, it's because I'm, I don't have a remote for my camera, so this is what we're going to do. So here are my little lipstick or lip gloss holders for my ColourPop liquid lipstick. So there you go. There's like, you just cut the box in half basically and then just drop those in there like so. And it becomes, let me show you what I have over here. I've cleaned up my desk. So I have them right here. So I basically just stack them right there. Sorry if it's a little blurry. Seems like my camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. So here is my lips, my little lip area. Well, and then I have them like this. And I also did the same for my Kat Von D. Try not to toss everything here. I did the same with my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I kept all the boxes that I have them in, except I taped these ones. And I usually have this in the front, but I did um, add my four new colors. So there I put them in the correct colors. The little casings I keep the color bottoms so that I know which names they are so that's that so basically I'm gonna there are all my palettes right there they're right there over here I like them there but at the same time I would love an organized little stack where they can belong somewhere that they can feel well not feel <laughs> Oh yes, my palettes have feelings. No, um, somewhere that they can be a little bit more organized, just like my uh, liquid lipsticks um, are. So that's what I'm going to do. And then also let me show you real quick. Okay, so I have a lipstick drawer on the bottom here. And what I did is that the ColourPop, the remaining half of the ColourPop, I don't know if you could see that. Let me zoom you out. Oops. There we go. See, the remaining ColourPop tops are going to be for my NYX lipsticks, and I'm going to do an in-depth makeup, what I have in my makeup collection. And then I also did it to my, um, the remaining Kat Von D ones, I put, see, I put my, um, Ulta lipsticks, my Wet n Wild, and my, um, NYC, or, is it Wet n Wild? Yeah. All my Wet n Wild in here, most of them. So that's how I organize that stuff. Sorry, I'm like running. Okay, so I'm sitting down right now and I'm going to do my, I'm going to just do the tutorial on my Urban Decay palette. So I have the Vice LTD, the Naked on the Run, the Electric, the Smoked, and the Vice. Oh, I also do have the Naked 3, so I'll, I'll bring that too. So, And then I will have a Naked Smoky, so I'll add that to that palette. So here are the boxes for those. I didn't know if I wanted to organize these according to a uh, brand, because I, I have a lot of Urban Decay, and I do have a lot of Kat Von D, but I only have two Too Faced... Two Buxoms, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and a Tartlet. And then, of course, I'm going to be getting the Urban Decay Smoky, so it adds more to my uh, Urban Decay line. So I think I'm going to do the Urban Decay, and I am I really don't want to cut these boxes from Kat Von D, but dang, you know, I want to make it cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is definitely going to stack these two together, and then I want to kind of stack it by size like so and then I'm going to 
kind of like add the smallest of this one's odd box but it, it'll go like that so this is how basically I'm going to stack them together but I'm going to cut them in half I know I really don't want to do that because I love the box but you have the same design on the actual palette so don't worry about cutting the boxes because what are they gonna do They're just gonna sit there and just rot away you know so don't be afraid to cut your boxes so let's get started Okay, so here is an example of one of my boxes that I cut. It's a smoked palette. It's a little crooked, but I'll, I'll fix that. So I just cut it in half. I wanted to keep the smoked logo thing there, but... Okay, and see how it fits. If it's perfect, it sticks out a little bit, just enough. And then it has that little slot where I can put my um, primers. So all I have to do is just glue this together, and that should be it. There's a slot for at least one, and then you can put your primers right there. Okay, so now I'm going to be cutting up some more pieces. So this is the Naked 3 palette, and I cut it in half, and or I'm cutting it in half, I'm just starting that out. And I couldn't keep the name logo because it was at the top, and I didn't want it upside down, so I wanted to keep the colors on the back and on the front showing so that you know pretty much what colors. I mean, it doesn't really matter how you cut these boxes, you can cut them however you want, but this has that little slot in there but luckily it comes out it's a perforated little piece so I just was able to just tear it out really easy but it doesn't really matter if you want the logo to show or not they're gonna get glued together anyway so all you have to do is just even it out a little bit so I'm just gonna even that out It's a little uneven, but you know, I have a crooked hand, so that happens. Okay, so now I'm going to be gluing the tabs. So all you do is just put glue on the little tabs where you open the box, and then just hold it, like you'll just fold it back to where the shape usually is, and then, or used to be, and then just glue them like that, just like how the box would be whole, except cut in half now. And then I just put some clips on there. They're just like some clips from my daughter. <laughs> some hair clips. And then I just used that to kind of hold the glue so it could set. And that's pretty much it. Just let it dry and finish the rest.
So now we've got all of the Urban Decay stuff cut up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue them together. So I guess it really doesn't matter if you the logo is showing or not because my boxes are a little crooked. Um, because it will just, I mean seriously, it's just going to be glued together if you think about it. But i um, just fixing my box here because it's a little slanted. I don't know why. Just my box has got messed up. So don't worry about it. if it's not absolutely perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. I need to fix this box. Um, all it has to do is just be workable, I guess. So I'm just going to re-glue this one, actually, because this one got all messed up. All right, so I went ahead and I hope I'm not... Okay, so now I'm going to get to the fun part. These are pretty much dry. The glue is very fast at drying, so I'm removing my little holders without messing them up the palettes. So I'm just going to slide it in my little makeup. Might need more room. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Still a little wet. Not bad though. So I'm just going to remove my little box things here, get these all straightened out, and then just kind of put them like so. Arrange them how I want to be arranged. Then we grab our palettes. So first it's my LTD palette, and you could actually even apply if you don't want to, because I kind of don't want to cut up my Kat Von D ones, but you can even like put this to the side and fit like another skinny palette in there as well. But for now, just purposes of this tutorial, it's getting a little heavy, so I gotta start stacking it. And then my LTD palette, which fits absolutely perfect. Then my Naked on the Run palette in its little slot. Then we've got the Smoked palette up here, right there. And then I have my little slot for my primers, and that I could just put two primers in there. I want to. So I'm just going to actually put them like that. And then I'm going to apply, I mean, or put in my Urban Decay Naked 3 and then my Electric Palette, which fits pretty perfect. And this all gets pretty heavy, so you might want to put a support here for now. But that's pretty much all you do. And you have yourself a little palette organizer. And I'm going to be making, I'm starting to start my buxom ones, my tartlet one, and I'm gonna probably put my Too Faced ones together as well, I'm not sure. But that's pretty much the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna try this at home, 
go ahead you know this this is really simple really easy and you get to have your boxes too i mean you don't like to throw them out so pre-packaging you don't want to cut them up well you know it's up to you what you want to do so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope it was informative um i'll let you know if i decide to cut cut my uh kat von d ones as well and i do have some palettes like these palettes right here these don't have a box but i will stack them as well so that's it thank you for watching stay vibrant